I found all sorts of cool gadgets and devices this year. And as this year draws to an end, I'm gonna take a look back at some of my favourite moments. This light-up toilet bowl was really cool. It cycles through eight different colours, or you can set it to hold on one. It's just this little unit with this LED bulb on the back. You bend it to shape to go over the toilet pan, then position it so it picks up movement when you walk into the room because it's motion sensitive to switch on. What a great idea for a bathroom night light. I also really liked this. It's an LED facet for your tap. And to use it, you just have to unscrew the old one and replace it with this new one. It comes with a little adapter ring. And then when you turn the tap on, it lights up and is powered by the water that's flowing through it. That's genius. And check this out. It actually changes colour with the water temperature too. And it'll even flash red if the water is too hot. <laughs> That's so clever. This kitchen whisk is another product I really love. Remove it from the packaging, and you can see it's totally flat with these four whisk hoops here. It makes it really easy to store away in a drawer. But what's really cool is if you give this part here a twist, it pops out into more of a conventional 3D whisk. Ha! <laughs> That's amazing! It feels nice and robust, and it's a great space-saving gadget. The flat whisk can be really handy in a big pan, if you've just got a thin layer of sauce like this, or if you're doing something larger, transform it into a conventional whisk. Now, here's another really cool collapsible gadget I found. It's a collapsible silicon funnel. And these are great. These two are the same size, but you can get them larger or smaller. Plastic funnels are so useful if you need to decant something into a bottle or a jar. But when it comes to storing them, they are awkward. If we compare these, you can see the funnel spout is the same size. It's not quite as tall, but this one folds up super flat. That's so much easier for storing. And when I tested it out with this bottle, it sits in the bottleneck well and sits on one of these shoulders. And it works perfectly for pouring in this drink. And the different sized shoulders work for different sized bottlenecks. What a great gadget! But did you see this thing? It's a flexible cleaning brush for plug holes. It's made on this piece of wire so you can bend it into shape. It's got this basic plastic handle and these nylon bristles. And I tested it on this plug hole here because I knew the drains were a little bit dirty and it was starting to smell. I put it straight down the hole in the middle and oh, look at that. You have to be careful with it flicking. Then I pulled it all the way back out and... Oh, that's gross. Black sludge and hair. I went round doing the sides of the drain and pulled out as much as I could. And because it's flexible, you can even bend it to shape and do the overflow hole. Once I cleared as much as I could, I gave it all a wipe out and gave it a rinse down with some nice soapy water. Then I used the brush again whilst running water down the drain. This helps to expel any pieces that are dislodged or sitting in the U-bend. And after about half a minute, the brush was coming back out nice and clean. And it made a really big difference. No more smelly drain. Now, this has got to be one of my favourite kitchen gadgets. It's this plastic bowl with these blades inside and this quite substantial lid which has got this hoop and pull string in. Pulling it turns this drive in the middle of the lid which turns the blades. It's a hand-powered chopper. It comes with an additional lid for storage and there's a rubber ring around the base so it grips the work surface when you're using it. I used it to make some salsa using some fresh tomatoes, a little bit of red onion and some garlic and lime juice and give it a pull. And it didn't really take long and we've got this amazing chopped up produce. To finish it off I added some fresh coriander, give it a few more pulls and it makes this beautiful fresh salsa. It smells amazing and it's so full of flavour. I found it works really well with nuts. I just tipped in a couple of handfuls and after 13 pulls we've got these amazing finely chopped nuts. And one of my favourite things to use it for is making homemade guacamole. This gadget makes it so easy and quick and it tastes so much better fresh than if you buy it ready made. I really like this gadget and it's something I've been using a lot. Now this glass jar is really cool. You just tip a jar of gherkins or pickles in and screw the lid back on. You'll notice all the liquid is drained to the bottom. Then just turn it over and all that pickling vinegar flows back down through to preserve your pickles. Cool, that's a tongue twister. Pretty cool, huh? And when you want to eat one, just turn it back over. The fluid all drains back down into the bottom chamber and it makes it really easy to help yourself to one. That's such a cool idea, really well thought out. And you could use it with olives, pickled onions or even pickled eggs. It's certainly a lot easier than trying to fish around for one from a conventional jar. They come out all wet and they can be difficult to get hold of, especially when the jar starts to empty. Now this gadget was really cool. 
It's a microscope which attaches to your phone. It came in this nice little box, and it can be connected to a computer, a notebook, a tablet, or a phone. It looks really cool, and it's got this lens cover here on the end, which also protects 8 LEDs. You can adjust the magnification here from 40 to 1000 times. And it's got this really clever USB plug on the end of the lead, which folds down to reveal a micro USB to use on your phone or tablet. How clever is that? But it also came with this USB-C adapter. They also give you this microscope micrometer calibration ruler, which we can use to gain an accurate reading for things like length or width. You need to download some software to use it, but I found it worked perfectly, and the first thing I tried it with was my finger. I had to adjust the magnification to get it to focus. Then, wow, check that out. It's actually really impressive. I tried it with a slice of apple, that was cool. And this leaf, which I followed all the way up to the stem. And what's great is you can just press a button to save whatever you're looking at on your phone. Pretty cool, huh? Or you can even take a video. And that could be really handy to watch back later to use as a reference for something. And you can even adjust the light with this inline dimmer. I am really impressed with this little microscope. It costs £25, and there's links in the description if you want to buy any of these gadgets. Over the summer, I started uploading shorts regularly. These were newly edited versions of some of my older content. Turning my two-second shirt fold into a short video was great fun. It proved really popular, helping people keep their bedrooms tidy, and amassing 26 million views to date. This hot dog slicing gadget was also really popular over the summer, amassing 16 million views. And this density experiment also proved popular. I demonstrate how objects of a different mass either sink or float on fluids with different densities. This is a really cool visual experiment and one you can easily try at home. And I think that led to its success of generating 94 million views to date. In one of the science toy videos I did, I tried out this gadget. It's really cool. If you sit this glass bulb in the palm of your hand, after just a few seconds, the fluid starts rising up the tube, it works its way around the U-bends, and fills up the top bulb. Then it appears to start bubbling and boiling. It's a really cool little science demonstration, and you should definitely check out that video if you want to find out more. And in the same video, I also tried out this ferrofluid. And when you introduce a magnet, look what happens. It starts to spring into life and form these magnificent shapes. You can move it around, and we get these distinctive black spikes. And if we vary the proximity of the magnet, we can alter the size of the spikes and the quantity. It's this liquid which contains nano-sized particles of a magnetite, usually iron filings. It's basically a magnetic fluid, and it's great fun to play with. Now this little kitchen gadget is definitely one of my favourite from this year. It's called Crimpit, and it's a toasty maker for thins. To use it, we place half a thin in the base like this, gently push it down, and add your filling. I added a slice of mozzarella cheese, folded over a slice of ham, and added some fresh basil too. Then you place on the other half, tuck it down a little in the mould, sit the top on, and press down to crimp it all together. It only takes a few seconds to crimp, then when you remove it from the mould, check that out, it looks great! And you can cook them in a frying pan, under a grill, or in the toaster. And after just a few minutes, they're ready. Check it out. Look at that cheese and ham. And with that fresh basil too, adding flavour, it makes a delicious combination. You can also use it to make sweet treats as well. For this one, I added a spoon of Nutella and sprinkled over some marshmallows. Once it's crimped and cooked, we've got this amazing, mouth-wateringly delicious treat. Give it a little squeeze and oh, look at all that melted marshmallow. And one of the other gadgets I really enjoyed trying was this stainless steel potato ricer. To use it, you add some boiled potatoes inside here, hold it up over a plate or a bowl, and squeeze the handles together. Check that out! It looks amazing, it kind of streams out. The handles are quite long, so you don't have to squeeze it too hard for it to work. And it gives us this really nice sort of fluffy mashed potato. In fact, it does almost look like rice. I also tried using it for carrots, although it wasn't quite as successful, and I even tried it with beetroot. That colour is just crazy. As we rolled into autumn, I did some pumpkin carving again for Halloween. This is always great fun, and one of the designs I did this year was this pumpkin splitting open to reveal the skull inside. It took a long time to carve, and it looks crazy. I also tested this Halloween prop. It's a skeleton prisoner in a cage. It takes AA batteries, and check this out. <coughs> Oh, that's so cool. I love the way he pulls the bars apart to poke his head through. And he's got some really hilarious phrases. 
He only wakes up when there's some motion in front of it. So if you want to, you can hang it on the wall. And if someone walks up to it at your Halloween party, <coughs> it'll give them an almighty jump. <coughs> As we headed into winter, I reviewed some really cool fidget toys, including this smart colour-changing putty. It's just like regular putty, which you can kind of squeeze and mould in your fingers. It almost acts like a stress ball, I suppose. This stuff was quite stiff, so it also acts as quite a workout for your hands. It does start to soften a little as it warms up, but if you keep playing with it, it starts to change colour. It took a while to transfer the body heat from my hands, but once it warmed up, it started turning a light blue colour. It works with these clever, reversible thermochromic pigments, which are coloured molecules that react to changes in temperature. So if you warm up one half and leave the other at room temperature, you can do some really cool stuff with it. And what's lovely is if you leave it, it all just returns to its base colour. You're not mixing up two different things, so you can just do it all over again. One of my other favourite fidgets I found was this LED fidget spinner. Inside each of these arms is a battery, some circuitry and LEDs. You can turn each one on, then give it a spin, and you get some really cool streaks of light. There's different programs and colour changing sequences, and I found if you slow it right down, then give it a spin, you can get some really amazing effects. It's so satisfying to play with. But one of my favourite fidget toys of the year has to be this squidgy banana. It looks so realistic, and it even smells like banana. But you can pull it and play with it and use it for stress relief. Or you could just use it to play a practical joke on someone. Now, I really liked trying out this kitchen gadget. It's called a banana loca. It comes with all sorts of parts which clip and screw together. And we can use it to stuff a banana with our favourite filling. I decided to use Nutella, so I spooned some in, then gave it a go. As you gently push down on the lever, it fills the banana from one end all the way to the other. Oh, check that out! And when I snap it in half, oh yeah, look at that! And I think one of my other favourite gadgets from this year has to be this breakfast sandwich maker. It's nice and small and compact, and really easy to use. It's got these various layers and cooking parts, and to use it you just place half a muffin on the bottom, add on some cooked meat and cheese, close down the next layer, and tip an egg on top. It's going to cook in here separately. Then add the muffin on top, leave it for a few minutes to do its thing. Then you can open it up, slide back the cooking plate that the egg was on. That drops down to the next layer, and when you lift up the bottom ring, we've got this delicious toasted muffin, all ready to eat. I do love this gadget, you can make some delicious stuff with it. So we've had a lot of fun here on the channel this year, and I'm really grateful for everyone who's been watching and supporting. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a lovely Christmas, and I'll see you all again next year. I've got lots of fun stuff in store, so do subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.